What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. Sue Bird, WNBA legend, straight up says it like it is, announces that Caitlin Clark is indeed her rookie of the year and does not cut any corners. You guys getting here? Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go. I know that this just totally just literally sticks a nail in the butt of all of these Angel Reese fans who are in great delusion and thinking that she comes anywhere close to Kaitlyn Clark in this Rookie of the Year debate. Uh, we all know what the media was trying to do. Uh, we know that the WNBA, the league, the refs, uh, the woke ESPN were literally highlighting and amplifying her double-double streak, uh, which has now ended. And therefore, Andrew Reese has nothing else to pretty much cling on to. And I think that most athletes from all sports, especially basketball players, could literally tell what Angel Reese was trying to do. Uh, however, the woke media did everything they could to demise Kaylin Clark. That shit did not work as Sue Bird comes out and says the eye test. And that's my thing. People are so caught up in like, oh, well, Angel Reese is doing this. She's doing that. Is Kaylin Clark doing this? Even though Kaylin Clark is doing that beyond more, Kaylin Clark could go beyond that and average a triple-double if she chooses, a double-double if she chooses, and literally control the game. She has control of the league, and she didn't even ask for it. So don't come at me with all of this Angel Reese flack, these word soup, these padded stats. It is what it is. Hey, I think that Angel Reese has brought certain people to the game as well. I think that she does a great job of riding the coattail of Kaylin Clark and making herself relevant by being the enemy. And we all saw the chemistry on the court all-star game. I made a video saying that I do not believe that Angel Reese is going to be a good friend to Kaylin Clark because it's in her best interest to remain the villain. That means when she gets around old Kennedy Carter, boot mouth ass, she's going to revert to who she originally was and is. So, sorry guys, I had to get that off my chest. <laughs> so let's get into this where it says WNBA and four-time champion, four-time champion. So Sue Bird knows a thing or two about talent, right? Uh, recently gave her take on who should win the Rookie of the Year award this season. Uh, once college rivals, the likes of Angel Reese and Kaylin Clark are currently competing for the biggest prize for rookies and seem to be going neck to neck in an epic race. Now, why does the media do shit like this? I mean, I'm just trying to get through this and I can't. How is it neck to neck? The Vegas odds certainly don't show that it's neck to neck. Uh, the ratings, the viewership, the game, their game separately. How is Angel Reese neck and neck? She, the trip, the double double streak is no longer there. What else is Angel Reese doing in comparison to Kaylin Clark? Because to the best of my knowledge, Kaylin Clark took a backseat in the WNBA All-Star game because she's just too good. She gave all of that shine to Ariki Agumawale. No, Arike Ogumbawale just straight took it, man. Y'all know I rock with Arike Ogumbawale. Uh, she is now my second favorite player in the WNBA next to Kaitlyn Clark. However, I would have not known her if I wasn't following Kaitlyn Clark. Because let's be honest, no one, no one was interested in a WNBA like that. That's what makes me laugh and chuckle at the women who tried to come out and say these things. Uh, it's a lot of... In the words of my old boy, Jason Whitlock, it's a lot of yes queens <laughs> that try to argue me when they don't even watch sports at all. Shut up. So let's keep going. Both teams have had their fair share of struggles churning out wins this campaign. However, not one finger can point to Reese or Clark, who have been the brightest sparks for their rep reproductive outfits thus far. While Reese may have a record-breaking double-double streak to back her claim, Sue Bird has a simpler method to determine the rookie of the year. Uh, and that's just her saying, like, she doesn't do the stat comparison. Uh, it can help when things are close. I just do the eye test. And to me, Kaitlyn Clark is the rookie of the year. Now, guys, she says something very interesting in here where she says, like, Reese or Clark have the brightest sparks of their uh, res respective outfits thus far. I will give that to Angel Reese, okay? Uh, Angel Reese is more social media. Uh, I see she's always kind of half naked doing her thing whatever, rap concerts, jumping on stage, you know, just being part of the culture, right? Uh, to me, uh, it's not as much of a good look uh, because I feel like she does the most to get attention where Kaylin Clark does less and gets significant attention because I've, I'm starting to feel a shift 
in just not only our great country, America, but also the world where people kind of like want to get away from all of that crazy shit. And they just kind of want to focus on the simple things. Right. And I think that that is something that Caitlin Clark is very good at. And I think that her team, her PR team, her family, her friends, they do a good job of protecting her from making herself look like she's just uncontrolled. Right. And uh, I would like to believe and think that Angel Reese is a freelancer. You know, she does her thing. She's she has a more expressive personality uh, and, you know, her outfits. I think that she does a great job of promoting those, even though she says that she doesn't like to be uh, sexualized. She does a great job of contradicting herself because she dresses to be overly sexualized. So I will give her that respect. Hey, that's what you brought to the gang. You bought horny men. But you're not changing or impacting the game like Galen Clark. And if we're talking basketball, that's not basketball related. It's WNBA related because of the whole propaganda around it, how it's growing the game. But on that court, there is a significant difference. Look at me. Significant difference. Okay? And I mean that. So let's actually get into this clip of Sue Bird saying those exact words. Exactly. Now, how hard is this to to tell? Honestly, seriously, guys, um, we live in a world where people are completely uh, biased towards things that they know aren't true or nor do they believe. Literally, uh, there are people out here. You can literally pull up all of the facts of Kaylin Clark versus Angel Reese. You can see the style of play. Uh, Angel Reese carries a lot, travels a lot, whereas no one is defending her the way that they are defending Kaylin Clark, picking her up full court press. None of that, guys. It's just insane to me. And Kaylin Clark goes to a gauntlet of a schedule only to still top the Chicago Sky. Worst team the last previous years end up in the playoffs above the Chicago Sky. And you mean to tell me that this isn't the rookie of the year? Good night, please. Man, y'all too easy. Y'all make it very easy. Now let's look at these comments. Wow, UConn Husky not hating on Clark. Amazing. And you guys already know that the UConn organization the basketball team did not give Kaitlyn Clark the scholarship and Kaitlyn Clark really wanted to play for UConn but look at what God can do uh he still made a way for her to be not just an impact in college but just changed women's college basketball I don't know probably forever and then went into the WNBA changed the WNBA I don't know forever all kinds of perks increased salaries charter jets <sighs> let's keep going I test in stats. Kaitlyn is clear rookie of the year. Yeah, I agree, Andy. I mean, if you ask me, I mean, I don't really need to even look at the stats. The eye test just alone, the passing, uh, all of that, man. She's good. And I'm not taking away from Angel Reese, but Angel Reese isn't great. She isn't changed, like, generational. She isn't, like, impactful in multiple ways. She's impactful with energy, like, getting in your face, you know, turning you up. Maybe you're having a bad night, you know, and she can help you know uplift you guys so i will give angel reese that goes on to say i test does point to cc as rookie of the year <laughs> sue bird with the 2020 vision let's go wow honesty <laughs> uh wow man okay let's look at this one i specialize in betting was this ever even a question i ask myself this all the time whoever this sharpest edge sports She's a massive favorite. Obviously, I just sit, I stated that. I mean, literally, Vegas has her as a massive. It's a layup to to go with this, and not because of her popularity, but because she just put up a historic month. Not just for a rookie, she drops jaws, and her jump shot isn't even falling. Dear God, if that turns around, then it'll be like LeBron in his prime. He was MVP every year, but they didn't give it to him. She's transcended. It's just that simple, and she's that grounded. You can't help but like the woman. I keep telling y'all, changed women's basketball forever, but yet still acknowledges she is standing on the shoulders of Giants to Rossi Moore Leslie. I say swoop, 
but she's going off her rocker. And you guys probably saw the video I made. Cheryl Soups uh, does a great job of acting like Angel Reese, showing fake love when she deep down is seething because she's jealous, bitter, uh, that she did not get that type of love and attention. And guys, it's a different time and era. I mean, there are going to be players who retire now and when they look back and see what's going on with the present athletes, they're going to say, man, I wish I was a part of this time because things are so nice for you. Right. Uh, and I, and everything this uh, person just said, I elaborated on uh, transcendent, uh, literally like Sue Bird said, bro, the eye test does not lie to you. It's legit. Like I watched Kaylin Clark, you know, I didn't, I was like, let me just watch to see, cause I don't want to be overhyped. You know, I understand it's going to be different when she goes to the next level, let Diana Taurasi, you know, let her tell it, but you know, we see how she's looking in the Olympics next. Uh, and this is what makes people love Kaylin Clark. Uh, she still gives respect to these old giants. Uh, oh, oh let, let me put some respect on more in, in Leslie, but Tarasi, cause Tarasi's a little hater. Um, she still gives them their flowers, you know, and let them know like, Hey, you know, I'm not trying to take the spotlight from you guys, even though I feel like I might be, you know, just slightly different in my own way. It makes the people really, really like her. Uh, and she's not asking for any of this support and she's not being the girl like Angel Reese is saying, look at me, look at me. I'm pretty too. Nobody wants to go for that chick because pretty much you are wanting people to want you for the wrong reasons when people should naturally want you based off of your personality, your characteristics and how you show up each and every day for your teammates and for your best self. Uh, so there you guys have it, man. That's just my take on this, man. Sue Bird completely killed this. Uh, Cut, short, simple, sweet. Kaylin Clark, Rookie of the Year. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is another awesome, rocking Kaylin Clark video. So you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.